אחת, גאצ בראש חודש, אמרנו להם בראש חודש, מותר בעשיית מלאכה. ואנשים שנוהגות שלא לעשות במלאכה, הוא מנהג טוב. בראש חודש, one is allowed to go to work. However, the woman had the custom not to work. Why is that? So he says, לפי שלא פרקו נזמיהן לעגל, ניתן להם ראש חודש ליום טוב. Because when it came time for the egel, the women were asked for their gold, and the women refused. They said no. And the men ended up taking their own gold and giving it for the egel. Therefore, the women received Rosh Chodesh as a Yom Tov. For them, it's a holiday. And on a holiday, we don't work. So therefore, the women don't have to work, but the men have to go to work. He says that those that have the custom that the men don't go to work, says men hak shetut, and you don't have to keep it, and therefore you can, do, you can go to work. So again, it's a, definitely a special day for them, for the women. That's why a lot of times in the schools, they make the girls wear special Shabbat clothing, because again, it is a Yom Tov, and it is a special day for the women. As for them, this was a holiday that was given to them. Now in regards to Tefillah, Halakha says that Arvit, Regardless of whether it's one night or two nights, if you forget Ya'alevi Yamo and Arvi, don't repeat. However, in Shahid and Minha, if one forgets Ya'alevi Yamo, one has to repeat. So tonight, if one forgets to say Ya'alevi Yamo, it's worse than forgetting now by Shahid and Minha, and therefore one has to make sure to pay attention to the Tiflah by Shahid and Minha, and of course, Arbit as well. However, Arbit is a little different. And again, if one forgets by Arbit, one does not have to repeat. However, by Shahrita Minha, one would have to repeat the entire Amidah if he forgot Ya'alevi Yavu.